If anybody wants to understand why, to the surprise of so many people, the, the ANC took such a progressive open stand on the question of gay rights, you've just got to go back to, to Cecil. I mean, he was the person, the living example uh, of a, a freedom fighter who happened to be gay, and he brought something special into the movement. You know, he raised our consciousness in relation to, to these questions mm -hmm. by his life, by, by who he was. I would say I've had a wonderful life. I'm glad that I had the good sense to join the Communist Party of South Africa. Firstly, because it gave me a sense of real purpose of life. Secondly, because it gave me an understanding of the motive forces in the history of mankind. And thirdly, because it brought me amongst the most wonderful people. I'd finish up by saying, thank you all. You've been absolutely marvelous. That's what I told my brother Bill a few days before I died. How extraordinary. To think that South Africa is now a democracy ruled by the African National Congress, and Nelson's now President Mandela. Lord, we've, we've become the very first country in the world to give constitutional equality to homosexuals. Marvellous. In detention, in all on my In detention, in all on my The Johannesburg I found when I arrived from Cornwall in 1928 was a gangster's mob of a mining town. On my way from the university, I used to linger in Jubair Park. I was quite taken aback when, a, when an older man struck up a conversation with me and invited me to his flat. <laughs> really? I'm amused when I think about it now that the mere mention of the word flat, a flat, oh, the connotations were fabulous. <laughs>